Hello, good people. Some time ago, I found a nice model of a Roman trireme on a scale of 1 to 700. And I decided to make a diorama similar to the one that is first on my channel. The length of the entire model is 5 and half cm. So, it is very small, but I want to add a crew to it. I encourage you now to subscribe my channel, because there are a lot of extremely crazy ideas coming. I'm putting together a Roman raven, or corvus in Latin. It was by this device the Romans won the first Punic War against the Carthaginians. As is well known, the Roman infantry had no equal at that time. But in sea battles it was the Carthaginians who had the advantage. To balance their forces, the Romans created a bridge that would enable easy boarding of enemy ships. The battering ram, a fundamental weapon of a self-respecting ship in those days. I have to admit that this set is really detailed for such a small scale. This is what the Roman banner, not yet painted, looks like. I'll say honestly that the location of the anchors from the instructions doesn't convince me, but I also somehow couldn't find original photos of the trireme from that time. So, well. Well, 
now it's time for the crew. Now you can see how small it is. Unfortunately, there are no figurines in this scale and from this period, but I found Roman infantry and I think they will also fit. Oh, I would have forgotten, there is also a shield. I'm not so sure it's correct to put centurions in the row of guards, but they look good in that row. A little decoration to make it not so boring. Try Rima presents itself before painting. It was quite an effort for me, but the hardest part will be in a moment. I start painting with primer, of course. have a curiosity. One shield, scutum in Latin, as you can now see, has survived to our time. painting a Roman banner, Vexil, meaning sail. I'm curious if anyone can guess what I painted on it.
decided to do a little cheat. Namely, I colored the clothes of Roman soldiers with red. There is no historical indication that red clothes were the standard in the Roman legions, for they were most often uncolored great white clothes. Now it's time for probably one of the most recognizable symbols of war machines. When you look at American World War II planes or the modern A-10, you may wonder when it started? I use a dark brown wash to increase the visibility of details. I had doubts that I would be able to wipe off the excess fluid so well, but I succeeded in the end. Must say it looks beautiful, but let's not forget the puddles. The trirema has three rows of puddles, of course, one side has, counting from the lowest floor, in this case 18, 19, 22 and 2 rudder puddles, which gives us 61 puddles and a total of 122. It took me 6 hour to glue and set it all up correctly.
but I think it's worth it. The last stage left is water. I added a few drops of glue for more depth. Some waves for variety. Thank you very much for staying until the end. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And the next diorama is coming soon.